final round, 19, doing spectacular things, always, every day. This is what we do. And um, it's great when we see players and their parents come to an event. And it's actually even greater when their kids are killers. <laughs> and we got, we, got, we got a killer right here. And I won't call you a little killer, I'll call you a big killer, because you just rolled your whole pool. And how old are you? 17. I don't look that old, but I am. Okay, all right. But you know what? You still killed them, but can you introduce yourself to them? Um, all right, my name is Troy Homer. That's my real name. And my gamer tag, my PSN, is Killtron187. All right, all right. And uh, we've got to introduce your lovely mother here. Your name is, ma'am? My name is Karen Shadle, and I am the proud mother of Killtron187. <laughs> All right, Killtron 187. Um, what game did you play today? I played two games. I played Street Fighter Five and MKX. Okay. All right. And how did you do today? Well, I did really good in MKX, but in Street Fighter Five, yeah, I kind of lost two in a row. Two in a row. Yeah. Okay. All right. And how? How? If you get another chance, or when you go back to the lab, what do you need to improve upon? In what? Which game? Street Fighter. A street Fighter, I think I just need to work on the matchups more because the reason why, the main reason why I didn't do that good is because, you know, their Combat Pack 2 recently came out in MKX, so I had to practice against those characters to learn those matchups for this tournament just in case I had to fight one of them, you know what I mean? Okay, I do know so what you mean. So I just try, I just got to try and find more balance in the switching back and forth between those games. It's kind of hard, so I don't, I'm, it's something I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep at it or not. All right, so so you you're gonna so right now you're gonna stay in MK. That's that's your that's your home. That's your home base. Yeah. All right, and then we got Street Fighter Five is number two. Mm -hmm. If there's a third game on the list, what is the third game on the list? Mm, that's a hard one. Okay. I mean, I I I'm not really that competitive in the other games. Okay. But if I had an opportunity to be competitive in another game, I'd probably pick Smash Brothers Four. Okay, all right. No, no, what got you into gaming? What, what brought you in? Uh, well, I honestly don't know the origin of it. I've been playing games my whole life, really. I mean, honestly, it's hard to, it's hard to explain. Really. Okay. It, but, like, just when I was a kid, when I saw other people play games, well, I was always like, that's something that I wouldn't do. I want to do that. I want to see how I can do with that. Okay, all right. And then that's, that's an awesome thing, all right? Mm -hmm. But let, let's, let's switch the spotlight to your mom real quick. All right. Now, do you play games? Occasionally. Occasionally. Not well, online. Not online. Mm -hmm. No, why not? Uh, <laughs> not sure. We play offline. We play some games offline okay. for fun. All right. Mm -hmm. You play games offline. So. All right. So now let me ask you, as a parent, um, young lady, um, what games will you not allow him to play? I don't think there's any games I would not allow him to play because all the different gaming structures really help him with like critical thinking and everything like that. And I personally grew up playing games with my parents. We had every new video game system and all the new games. So you had awesome parents, basically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. And it was a fun bonding time in my family. I have four siblings. So we would always get out like the old Atari and Nintendos and stuff and play together. So Troy's been playing Mortal Kombat since um, MK1, <laughs> that we would play the original one. We'd go to visit my parents for Christmas. We'd break out the original one when he was like four or five okay. and we'd play at my parents' house. So he's always played things like that. So I don't think there's any game I wouldn't allow him to play. Okay. If there was any game that you want your mom to play, what mm -hmm. game would you, what, what game would you recommend or what, what game do you want her to play? Probably, uh, hmm, I try, I'm trying to think. Well, probably, not Mario probably want you to play. <laughs> I want you to play something complicated, like, like I'm a like, guilty gear. That game is hard. I heard. Um, I want to see. I just want to see what you think of it and like what your reaction would be when you see like how hard that game is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Now, um, now I know we're here. I know we're playing video games, but I gotta ask you now in, in, in your regular school studies. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is history. It's history. Now, why is that? Because I feel I feel like learning from the past is really is really helpful in real life. Like when I play my game, I 
I get better at it by learning from my past mistakes. Okay. Like, if I lose a matchup, I don't. I like to. I don't. I like to go to the lab. You know what I mean? Yeah. Practice against it, so I can know what I can do next time instead of making the same mistake I did last time. All right, and so. Do do mistakes, the losses, do they affect you very heavily, or do you kind of just feel okay, just brush it off your shoulder? I, I, I brush it off because even if it's a win or a loss, that's experience, and that's gonna pay off eventually. Okay. All right. Now I see that you have a pad in your lap here. Now, are you just solely a pad player, or do you are you kind of going into the world of sticks? I tried an arcade stick, but it just didn't. It just didn't feel right. You know, it just didn't feel comfortable. Okay. All right. But I mean, I feel like not. It's a misconception that a lot of people have that an arcade stick is better, but I feel like it's all a matter of preference. It's all up to the player what they're most comfortable with. Really. Okay, all right. And um, if your son was to pursue a career, a job, or some kind of some kind of beneficial opportunity to be a, a pro gamer or just in the video game industry, would you give him your blessings? Absolutely. Okay. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's important to do a job that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate that. <laughs> that was so cute. All right, now, Troy, I gotta ask you, what's up with this fashion, man? What's this this fashion? This whole outlook you got here? I'm digging it. It's it's, kind of, it's like it's a little bit of like Max Hedrum '90s '80s, but but you you're bringing it very hard. So, so tell me, what yeah. what's what's this, what's this fashion? How do you how do you, how Honestly, you put this together? I just I wanted to focus, so I just went with the man bun. And you see, I I like fudge away a lot, so I use the hair sticks to you know keep everything in order, keep everything going should be, and make it like and, and make it look like I'm focused because I'm just trying to focus right now. And I need the hair to like it's pretty long, so I don't want it to get in my face or anything. I just needed to focus, you know. Okay. So All I right. decided that was a good idea. All right. Now, if you could explain to me, what is what is your play style? My play style is a lot of conditioning your my opponent. I like to I like okay. to um uh, make my opponent feel like I'm gonna do something the first game and be like, oh okay, I saw that I saw what he did, and then the next game, I'm gonna just wait and see how they react, and I'm gonna do what I think is best for that situation. I'd say that I'm like. I'm really like patient, you know what I mean? I wait for my chance to go and I don't, I wait for my opponent to make the mistake. I try my best not to risk it, but if I have to, I will. Okay, so you would definitely take the chance if you have to, but you would rather put your opponent in a box where their choices are limited and you know exactly what yeah, to do. Yeah, because I mean, when, when you're playing Jax, there's a lot of options he has. And once he gets up in the corner, they're locked down. They don't have any options and I like that. I like the put my opponent in a position where there's not much he can do, so then I'm in control. Okay, so, so you, you main Jax? Yeah. Okay, and and who's your secondary character? Melina. Melina. Cause right. Now Jax, those are two very different yeah. characters though. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, Jax is a good player, he's a great character, he's top tier, but he can get zoned out pretty bad. Okay. But you see, Melina is great at counter zoning people, so that's why I think it's a good idea. Because it helped me earlier in the Katana matchup. Okay. All right. And, well, is Katana your worst matchup right now? Or who, what do you think? No, she's want? not my worst matchup. But I just feel like it was a smart idea to pick Melina because he was zoning me out big time. And I wanted to just put him away early because it was 2 1. And I just wanted to, it was match point for me. I wanted to just get it over with, you know. And I felt like, I felt like that was my best bet because an MKX can't downplay a character. That's right, that's right, because you never know. Somebody might know yeah. some, some small little nuance that, mm -hmm. that puts them over the edge. But see, the thing is, matchup, that's the most problem, which thankfully I didn't have to do, is Alien. They put him as DLC, and I think he's broken. He's unbalanced. Okay. All right, well, I mean, that's, that's understandable. But if that match occurs, you just have to muscle on through it and, and fight through it. Yeah. I mean, that's how that's how every matchup goes. You're not gonna get good at a fighting game unless you're willing to do something that might be difficult. That's right. So you definitely got to take the challenge, all right? Mm -hmm. and, and as a parent, mm -hmm. that as it, it seems that you are an avid gamer yourself, mm -hmm. all right? Um, do you have any words of inspiration for other parents or other mothers who who have children, but they don't understand why their children play games as much as they do? Do you have any? 
words well, for those people? I would say that if they come to a tournament and they see the environment that everybody's in, how it's positive, it's competitive, it's an accepting environment, everybody is very supportive of each other, there's like no negativity. Like, if people lose, everybody's like, hey, good game, good game. Like, nobody's like, oh, wow, you suck. Everybody's like, wow, you did great. Like, it's very positive and very, like, uplifting to be in that environment. It's a great scene to be on for your kid, you know. So I think it's great right. from that perspective. They get to meet a lot of people online that they wouldn't have made friends with otherwise, you know. That's true. So I think it's important. All right, well, guys, thank you so very much, and I wish you the best of luck and more success in the tournament. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if we catch you up on, on stream, I'm going to be yeah. cheering for you. Okay, okay. I got so, you. All right, that's, yeah, he, I he got me. He got me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And, and Mom, thank you so very thank much. 